I absolutely love teaching. I absolutely love acting as well. So it's quite nice that it's combined, I think, both my skill sets. I love it, absolutely love it. I love working with the students. That's the favorite bit. Not so sure about admin stuff and getting up to date with all the COVID uh, policies and all of that. But when it comes to the teaching, I adore it. Ironically, I came here as a schol with a scholarship. I managed to get a scholarship. I think, I can't quite remember. I think I was 14 going on 15. It's got quite a history for me. I've got a couple of messages for you. Current energy guy being pushy, and this one he's called twice, but he didn't want to leave a name, but left a mobile number. Okay, I'll get back to him. Talking of the arts, I mean, they're completely suffering right now. I mean, theatres are closed. Uh, your students are going to go into a world who knows what it looks like. Are you worried for the arts right now? I am worried. I'm worried for the arts, and, and I suppose because... I have so many friends who are really suffering. Um, and we're talking people who are proper working actors, you know, jobbing actors. And, uh, and it's hard to, to not feel a lot of, just feel for them. 2020 has been a year of change, obviously with the coronavirus, but we now seem to be more aware about, about race. As a, as, a, as a black actress, how, how have things changed in your career? If I was starting now, I think I'd be in a better position than I was when I started. Our stories are being told. There's much more representation, uh, which is, was, has always been a bit of my bugbear. You know, back in the day, you wouldn't have had so many people of colour in uh, as an actor. Do you think you missed out on some big parts because of the colour of your skin? It's hard to say if you if you miss out on roles because of your colour. Um, because who's going to admit to that anyway? <laughs> you know, so um, I suppose the difference now is people of colour will be considered, generally will be considered for the, 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 um, the big headline parts in a way that I don't think, even if it was un unconscious or conscious, they would have been considered or I would have been considered. But now I think for everyone, generally, um, you, immediately you'll be in the mix, whereas I don't think that was true 30 years ago when I started. If there was a, a young 14-year-old black Asian minority ethnic girl watching this interview now, keen to get into the arts, keen to tell those stories, write, direct, produce in the future, what's your advice? My advice would be to be who you are and not to change, to fit in. Be absolute who you are because your story is unique. It's important as a cultural contribution. Um, be very positive in your experiences. Don't, don't leave your experiences behind. Use those experiences to say what you need to say as an artist. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.